Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you around my motorhome now. And uh, I'm gonna try and remember everything. There is an awful lot to try to remember on this. So I will start at the front, I suppose. It's the best place to start. So it's got a private number plate that comes with it. Um, 814 EcoPower Mercedes diesel engine. Apparently a very reliable, very economic engine. We've certainly not had any problems with it. Um, it is incredibly um, reliable. We've, we've been all over the place, never had to worry about um, the mechanical side of things. And also it's pretty economic as well um, for the size of vehicle. It seems to be very economic. Um, two extra spotlights on the front there. Um, so as we come around, you'll also see the magic sleep box on top. That is another two berths there. So it's quite large inside and you can easily get two people if they're friends up there. Um, we tend to put either one of the kids or somebody that snores up there. It's ideal, brilliant. Um, it's got its own sunroof and things in there as well. So as we come round, let's have a look at the cab area. So all the door cards are all in good condition. All the rubbers down here are all in good condition. Step, seats, really fresh. Front dash, all good, all as it should be. There's a few holes, somebody's put something in the top there at some point. Um, but the seats themselves are in really good condition, including the driver's seat. And there's a very good reason for that. This truck has only actually covered about 77 thousand miles it says about 116,000 kilometers which is about 77,000 miles which for a truck like this is absolutely nothing they were designed to do half a million a million you know so um really really good up here you've got your um a cd player and a cigarette lighter uh, and then here is your hatch to get into here so that's all so he's got a sunroof there, look, and you've got another window that opens there. I don't know if you can tell how large it is, but when you put the when you put the um, hatch back down, there's actually quite a lot of room in there. And there is a diesel heater, so in the winter it can pipe hot air straight up into there. So that's that. Shall I start it? Let's start it. So if I slide across here. I can start this up. And that's about as long as it ever takes. It normally fires up even quicker than that. Um, and it just goes, it just goes, it just sounds perfect. The air in the tanks, look at that. I haven't even had to charge the air. Um, I can't remember when it was last started, um, but it does tend to hold the air very well in the tanks. Um, ventilation all works. So, um, the other thing, the clutch is nice and light actually. I mean, we've got a, we've got a horse box as well and that has an incredibly heavy clutch on it. So, pulls away, no issues whatsoever. And all the mechanical side of things, I would have to say, are in very, very good condition. So, that's that. So let's climb down. Obviously this video is very unprofessional, so I'm gonna be um, sort of filming the floor at some of the times. So you've got, above there, you've got this really good awning. Now, awnings vary in cost and um, size but I have it on good authority that this is one of the better ones you can get you just spin the end there and the whole thing comes right out um, and it's a much longer one than than many of them so take it from people that do know I don't really know but there you go um, it's got LED lights at the top there as well um, this is for your vents for your cooker and the fridge I think a locker down there a good quality um, wheel 
chrome wheel co covers there. Inside here, there is an air compressor, which can be used if you've got things like motorbikes or anything like that that you want to, to use an air compressor. Now, this is one of the most incredible things. I mean, the size of this, you just pin this back here. So, and then you can get up into here. So I'm standing now full, and I've still got a good, I don't know, foot, foot and a half above my head. Um, you could get the largest quad bike that they make in here. You could get the smallest car they make in here, probably. Um, we've got something called a little Renault Twizy and that goes in here. So it is a humongous size. You know, you may want to keep it as that. You might want to turn it into some mega bathroom or something, but it's, um, it's really good. It could be used. We went skiing with it and we used it to put all our ski equipment and dry our clothes in there. So that worked very well. The back, that's all in good condition. Those two uh, windows up there are for when you're sleeping in the fixed bed at the back. And then next to it, you see that locker, you actually have a, a collapsible ladder that goes up to that locker and that's where you store things and particularly the awning um, sort of metalwork that you need. Um, on the back here, I suppose what I will do as well is I'll show you the paintwork. And it's not perfect, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, if I come back around, oh yeah, while I'm round here, you've got in here a generator. And behind there, there's a little cover you lift off. You only need to start, you start it from inside. It's also got this beautifully made stainless steel fuel tank for it as well. And um, when you turn it on, it's all, everything's insulated. Um, it's very, very quiet indeed. Um, inside and out um do you know what? i can't remember what's in there it might be the toilet I'm not, oh no toilet's over here um that, that i think is the electrics in there um and then down here i think and that's just to get to your air filter which is useful so let me take you round and let's just have a look at the paintwork. So, I don't know whether you can tell, but all along here is in really lovely condition. This bumper, the lights, all in very nice condition. The edges here are also lovely. Up here, the Sadie's badge, slightly flaked on the blue, but very good other than that. Windscreen wipers, windscreen, all very nice and then there's this sort of um i don't know whether it's some sort of sun visor but that's all in good condition the sleeper box itself paintwork is very nice as well Re even right at the top where they sometimes go this one hasn't so as we come around here the edges all really good that door very very nice Okay, the plastics are in good condition, steps in good condition, good tyre. Um, up here, this tilts as well, so if you do need to, you have to unbolt all that, but it does tilt, allowing you full access to the engine. Um, we've never needed to, but you could. Another locker. <laughs> Ah, there's your batteries and your isolation switch. So that goes in there. Here again, paint. You've got a crack on the window here that someone's stuck a sticker over. I mean, it's a new sticker or a new window, to be fair. Um, glass, not glass, paintwork. Good, 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 good. All good, all really good. All the lockers are good. This door is good, but it's a bit, it's got a few bumps on it. I mean, it's, they're, they're aluminium. They're very, very easy to dent. If you were particularly picky, you might 
do something about that door. But on the whole, we're back to really good again. And all down here where they normally go, not so. Look at that, really good. Another big locker that's sort of water pipes and things. Um, this up here, one blemish, there you go. One blemish, not sure what that is. But not bad, is it? On a vehicle of this size, it's pretty good. Lights are all in good order. They come on if you're hooked up or they can be used through the inverter or they can be used through the generator. And then this great big door, a couple of little marks on this big door, but nothing excessive. Uh, as we come around the back, down here, little few little marks around here but not bad at all generally the back paint it's got this sticker on it we've left it on we quite like it um i don't know who bling star are but we leave that on you can take it off if you want edges again all good this paintwork is all lovely as well okay if you're waiting to get inside, we will be going inside. It is quite a big vehicle, so I'm finding it's taking a long round, long time to get around. I say it's a big vehicle. Something that's important to note, my wife, who didn't used to want to drive a van, drives this all the time and loves it. Absolutely loves it. I don't quite know why, but she, she really looks forward to driving in this. And, you know, she takes it around all the lanes in Wales and Devon and all sorts of places. So, right, let's go inside. So, up steps, and in we come. So, I would have to say that the inside of here, it's sort of, I suppose it's caravan-y, but it's really nice. The seats are, are really good. Um, you can get through to the front. So, if you're in the back here and somebody's driving and you're, I don't know, preparing some food or something they can um you can get to them which is handy um you've got storage underneath all the seats as well there's another set of leisure batteries massive new leisure batteries with inverter in there as well so rather than just having a single leisure i can't remember how many there are but there are plenty and they do last a long long time um storage loads of storage Storage in here, storage all the way around here. They're quite big as well. Um, obviously you've got the curtains to close and blinds and things. Um, oh, I know what I'll show you. The gadgets in this, there are gadgets everywhere. So I don't know, you've got TV down there, which is old and outdated now, but you've got all the wiring and it all goes through an inverter system. So you've got power, you've got all your systems up there that um, are both 12 volt and 240 volt. Um, you've got alarms as well. We've never used it, but there is an alarm on it as well, if you wanted to. Uh, so here, if we wanted to start the generator, you've got to prime it first, and then you push run. And there you go, started. And I don't know if you can hear that humming away, but it's not particularly loud. And it runs things like our, um, uh, what do you call this? <laughs> uh, microwaves. Um, it runs our microwave, it runs hair dryers. It's a really powerful one. Um, and it's just so easy just to switch it on. And when you've had enough, you can just switch it off again. And that's that. Over there is to do with the water heating um there's a an old style um aerial for your tv so when we come along here you've got some more controls down there you've got this cooker which is i mean it's like new isn't it it's hardly being used um you've got a grill you've got the actual cooker itself in there so 
that's all as it should be. You've also got this full size fridge as well, which is, we do use this and that's really handy. Loads more cupboards, loads more cupboards up there. Um, and now you've got another seating area, which is another bed. So the beds, to be clear, are the one above the cab. This turns into another great big large double bed as well. This turns into another double bed. And then there is a fixed double bed. Can you see that? This is humongous, really, really big. And you've got those two windows over there. And one of the owners, for some reason, there's some electrics. I think they had a be um, TV at the end of the bed as well. You've got storage in here. There's another cushion there as well. So you've got a hanging space. And then in here, you've got a nice sized bathroom, shower, toilet, sink, mirror. Oh gosh, you can see me now, sorry. Up there. And this is quite handy because you can open that while you're having a shower to stop all it steaming up. So that's quite useful. And then if you want to get into, back into the um, garage, you can get into there, which was really handy when we were skiing because you just used to jump into there to get all your clothes and things and it was just handy and also um i suppose i can't emphasize enough how nice it was to have a vehicle um we used an atv but whatever you could might put motorbikes in there but to have something that you didn't have to tow some countries they don't want you to tow so it was um it was really nice to have that garage space right i've been going on for Nearly 17 minutes, God blimey. Sorry, I probably bored you to tears. I hope that gives you an idea of what it's like. But if you wanna use it as a family vehicle to up and leave and go and use as a motorhome, you could do if you want to use it for karting, if you wanna use it for motocross or even motorsport of any sort, um, it's ideal. Uh, so if you're interested, then please do get in touch, uh, come and have a drive and see what you think. Thanks for watching.